What is up guys? Um, so I wanted to show you guys something a little different. I had moved and I just cleaned your water and you just made it a disgusting bloody mess. So I moved some of the crocodilian around uh, just so they can get in the sun because we've had a wicked cold snap here in Florida the past couple days. Good food. Good food. Good food. Come on. Good boy. So I moved them all on the other side of the little walkway area we have here just so they could get more sun. I did move Chomper outside finally. He's over here. So he's going to be living outside. I will bring him inside when it still gets cold. But there he is in this nice new little setup. Uh, he's getting too big for the enclosure I had him in inside. So he's going to be living outside now. This is a little bit bigger for him. It's a little deeper, easier for him to swim around in. So. Chopper food. Chopper food. Chopper food. Good boy. Come on, Chopper. Oh, you're so. Oh! Oh, it exploded all over his face. so awesome at the same time. Uh, let's see. Would you like a rat foot? Copper food? You, you have some some splooge on your eye there. Chopper food? Alright. So yeah, so he'll be living outside now. Um, it'll be better for him. He's getting an actual sunlight instead of a UVB bulb. So there's nothing wrong with that. He's got plenty more room to swim around in, um, but due to the fact that I don't have a filtration system on his, I do gotta still change the water out every three or four days, or summer does it uh, when I'm at work. But over here, let's see. Got the common snapping turtle over here. Food. Food, come on. You missed. Still missed. There you go. So this little guy, um, gave him a little scrub down too. All these guys were inside. Sorry guys, I know he's hard to see. But uh, all these guys were inside the past three days, so I was happy to put them back outside today. Now that it finally started to warm up. And then over here we have the crocodile. So, I moved him as well, uh, just because he's definitely gonna be getting more sunlight here. Than he was on the other side. Carnage food. Carnage food. Come on. Come on. Carnage food. Come on, food. So now you'll hear uh, different calls that different places do. Um, usually you're just kind of letting that animal know that it's feeding time. Hopefully you can hear me over the running water, but uh, so I do food, a lot of places do the pop, um, some places do it, each animal by name, but you have to teach that animal their name beforehand, so, food, 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 here buddy, you don't want it, there you go. So I'm giving them all a little bit smaller meals today, and down it goes. Uh, the smaller meals are better for them, so I make sure they actually do get it down. Good boy. Everybody's being so gentle today. Oh, good. All right guys, so uh, I promised everybody we would do an update on the foxes, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. But for this one, I'm gonna let Summer take over. Um, as most of you guys know, these pretty much are her foxes. So she's gonna talk about the new baby, uh, give you guys a little bit more update information on him, it, her. I guess we're gonna discover that right now. But uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoy a nice little update on him. He's already eyeing it. 
on, buddy. Come on. Alright guys, so this is our little fox pup or kit is what they're usually called. Females uh, tend to have on average between like 2 to 12. She only had one though. We do think it's because she's so young, which is a good thing we're not complaining. Um, he is about two weeks now and just now starting to open up his eyes. It is a male. So all fox pups do come out with dark fur in the beginning and then as they age the color comes in so we won't know what his color is until he does get a little bit older. Um, he is starting to come out of the den back there. We do have two options because sometimes the females will bring them from den to den. Um, Swiper, you can see him behind me, does have both the rats and what he's actually going to do is cash them because the females depend a lot on the males for food when they do have the babies and he actually lets Dixie eat most of his food and saves it for her and actually brings it to her sometimes. And what's pretty cool about foxes too is a lot of the time they do co-parent so the males are actually very helpful when the babies are here. So that's what Swiper is trying to do right now. But I'm going to go ahead and put him back. Dixie is pretty good about me handling him. We do like to check up to make sure everything's okay with him every day. Uh, so far there's been no problems and he's doing well, gaining weight. He's probably almost twice as big as he was already, so, or I guess the first time we filmed him. Oh, can I put him back in, buddy? Do I have your baby? So Swiper is still really good with him. Um, I know a lot of people were concerned about having them together, but he actually does help carry him around and clean him and stuff, so it's pretty cool to see. I did already clean in here today. Definitely doesn't look like it because they just continue to bury things like the rats right now for later. Oh, he's also going through uh, the shed for the spring right now, so that's why he does look a little bit rough. So that hopefully will be coming in soon. Most of it's already coming out though. I think he has some tufts left on the tail, so. You're, you're burying the baby there, Swiper. Buried it in one corner, dug it up in the other corner. Alright guys, that is going to be it for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the little update on everything going on. Um, probably won't be posting anymore this week. Uh, I never really know, sometimes it does change. but. We have to get ready for our trip up to Nerd, which will be happening next weekend. We're super excited about it. Cannot wait. Big thank you to all my Patreons. You guys are awesome. If you guys would like to become a Patreon, definitely check out the link below. Uh, we actually have a lot of new tiers coming out here very, very soon. Um, so definitely keep an eye on those. If that's something, if there's nothing on there you don't like right now, there might be something you like here in a little bit. But subscribe if you are not already. Smash that like button if you haven't. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will probably be in New Hampshire. Bye!